Good morning to all you learners and parents out there. Welcome back to Miss Mesh's English lesson. And as you can see today, I'm in my classroom. We're back at school getting everything ready for you. So please, on your side, stay mentally fit and keep on learning. Okay, so today we're dealing with writing a story. It's revision. Okay, you have setting, characterization, plot, and your conflict. So all of these make up a story. Setting. The setting is the time and place in the story. So the story can either happen in Mamilodi and it can happen in current time, which is 2020. For example, we are dealing with this pandemic, the coronavirus. A plot. This is a series of events through which the writer reveals what is happening to whom and why. Now, usually the plot has a beginning, middle and end. In the beginning, we introduce your characters. In the middle, we see what the characters are going through. And at the end, we see how they resolved or got over whatever they were going through in the middle of the story. Now, characterization, this is a creation of imaginary people in your story. Okay, you can write a story about Miss Mashilo and her siblings. So now the characters would be Miss Mashilo and the siblings that she has. Now, it's also uh, important to make people aware what kind of a person are they. So is it a nice, fun, bubbly person? So this is the characterization of your character. Now, the theme. Theme of the story is the main idea that is carried out throughout your story. You can have a theme of love, trust, betrayal, friendship. So yes, this is the message that is carried out by the writer to the reader. Conflict. This is the problem that happens in the story. Now remember the problem is something that happens to the person uh, in the story. So this being the character. So what troubles do they go through? It can be either self-esteem or for example, if you write about a child at school who's being bullied, the bullying is the problem. Yeah. Okay. Resolution. This is the story's action after the climax. Now the climax of the story from the beginning it's moving up, 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 up. And when the story reaches the peak, that's where the big event happens. That is what we call the climax. Now, the resolution comes after the climax. So meaning after the story reaches the top, it drops down towards the end of the story. Now, the resolution, which is the end of the story, is where we get to see what solutions does the character have. So back to where you're writing about a child in the school and they're being bullied. How do they solve this problem? Do they tell a teacher about it? Do they move out of that school? So at the end, we get to see that. Okay, lesson activity. Here are some instructions. You need to write a story under the theme COVID-19. They must be four characters. The story must have a beginning middle and end. Remember, that is the plot. The setting of the story may be at home, at a hospital, or a grocery store. Now, please keep in mind, you are writing about during the lockdown. What affected you? How did you deal with different situations? What did you do? Did you exercise? So all of that included into your short story. And remember, there must be a solution at the end for whatever trouble, whatever problem that you experienced in the story. Spelling words of the week. This is an important section. Parents, please make sure that they use a dictionary in case they don't understand or know the meaning of the word. First word, emotions. Beginning. Pandemic. Hospitalization. Sanitizer. National. Safe responsibility, virus, healthy, essentials, government. After lesson work, you need to write out spelling words with a dictionary meaning. Write five sentences using the uh, weekly spelling words. Prepare for a spelling test. Mommies and daddies, it is up to you to decide when they write a spelling test. Usually we give them a week to study. So if you can do that, please make sure that they learn and Repetition, repetition, repetition helps. Do keep in mind that we are all in this together. Stay safe, keep washing your hands, and keep watching Miss Mesh's English lesson.